Welcome to Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering creating a map series. Let's get started. I'm here in Houston, downtown to be specific, and I'm looking at a set of parcels. I'd like to create a series of maps, or you may be familiar with data-driven pages from ArcMap. In the map series, I'd like to use a layout and have the data drive individual maps for each of the parcels. Our first step is going to make sure that we stage our area. I've brought up a sample layout to the right here, and I've set up some symbology and labels that'll appear for my printout once the map series is executed. With the layers set and the labels as you wish to see them, let's take a deeper dive into the layouts. Clicking on the layout, you'll see the layout ribbon appear. You'll notice here that I have some dynamic text. If I double click on that text, you can see the element that'll appear, and you'll notice that I have it inserting attributes from the table. You can utilize an arcade expression and add delimiters. Looking at the expression, you can see that I'm using text formatting.newline to ensure that after every address, there's a skipped line. Click OK. You'll want to take note of the query options. I could have the labels only show me those that are visible, or as I had selected, the map series rows. So if a label did not appear, I still had the address below. So with your layout created and your map staged, your next step would be to insert in an index. Now, if I wished, I could utilize my parcels as an index. The features in an index can be non-contiguous, they can overlap or be different shapes and extents. They can even be points or lines. But what if you wanted to create your own grid? Well, then we'll need to head over to the geoprocessing tools. You can head over to the analysis tab. Or if you have your geoprocessing pane already up, just type in index map series and you'll see grid index features here. There's also support for strip map index. For my purposes, I've created a grid index. You'll see here that you can give your parcel a name as well as input which features you'll be utilizing. Because I'll be using a specific layout, I've chosen to use page unit and scale to create my grid. I have a scale of 250, and I've decided that the width and height is going to be eight inches. And you can see here the number of rows and columns. With the map scales and the heights and rows set, go ahead and click run. So you can see the geoprocessing tool is very flexible. I was able to create a small limited size grid that I can easily use in my layout. I'm here in the layout and I've unchecked the imagery and I still have the parcels unchecked so that I can focus on the grid. To set up a map series, you'll need to utilize the map series button here at the top. I'm going to select spatial here and then follow through the setup. You'll want to enable your index and select which map frame the index is located. The layer I'll be utilizing is the parcel index, but you can change it easily with the dropdown. Depending on the index, you may wish to select the group by page numbers. If we go to map extent, I'll be ensuring that my scale is 1 to 250, but there are a lot of other options you can utilize. And if your index is to a specific size, you could clip to the index feature. Completing the properties, let's look at the contents pane. You'll see all 18 grid cells. You can use the arrows here to go forward and backwards along the pages. If I go up here, I can turn off and on the layers that are visible. To continue proofing your pages, you'll head up here to the icon where it says List Map Series Pages. With both the layout and the map in view, from there you can walk through your pages and see if you need to make adjustments to your grid or if it's ready to go. And if I need to deactivate my map series, I can do so by going back to the Map Series button at the top. And I can simply just disable you see the map return to the non-map series format. So let's recap. Creating a map series does require some preparations and an index, but ArcGIS Pro makes it relatively easy to create your own index using the geoprocessing tools, grid index features, or strip index features. You utilize the layout ribbon and the map series button to adjust your properties once your index is prepared and your map is staged for how to look in a layout. I think this is a great stopping point. If you're interested in other topics or would like to suggest one for yourself, please check the description and follow the link below. This has been 
Tessel Bites, where we serve you GIS in small bites. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.